Hi guys, uh, this is Barry, uh, also known as Angela Mori in the SCA. Uh, I am talking about how to make a Kerboily case for my cell phone. Um, cases in many different were made in many different ways. Uh, you'll have varying leather layers put together in different ways. Uh, I've found through a lot of uh, observation through lots of pictures from uh, places like the uh, Victorian Albert Museum Online and the Metropolitan Museum Online and uh, the Philadelphia Museum of Art and also uh, the London Museum. Uh, they have some great digital archives and in these pictures I noticed a lot of the cases that I've seen are basically about four layers of uh, one uh, one ounce to two ounce leather. This here is between one and two ounces. It's pretty thin. I'd say closer to two but it is thin so this is what I'm going to be using. Uh, this is actually scrap material I got. Uh, well it's not even scrap, it's just scrap material because I've now used most of the hide. Uh, it's a thin calf skin. Uh, it's like grade B or C. It wasn't anything fancy. It's got marks and everything. Um, the reason I'm going to use this, I'm using this for the first two inner layers. And the reason for that is because most of it's not really seen on the outside. I would use a, a better uh, grade of leather for the outside for which I'll tool on. Uh, however, for the inside, for the structural, uh, a lot of the times these pieces were literally scrap pieces, like tiny little pieces that would be sort of like a piece might fit here and they'd take another piece here. Remember, they didn't just, oh, I'm just going to use this little piece cut out right here. They would use all the little pieces they had. Um, you know, they didn't waste. So part of uh, what I have that I'm going to be showing you guys, I'll probably bring up the picture, is uh, how I've seen them put together. Where on the inside, you have your inner casing, and that consists of two layers. One would be um, the uh, grain facing inward inside. So when your item is in here, it's against this nice smooth grain. And then the other piece would be um, uh, basically glued with this side, with the, the grain side facing out for the lip of the item. And as you can see, I'm showing you right now, hopefully with an overlay and pointing out to you what these things look like. Um, that's how we're going to work this. So I'm going to be butchering this. I'm probably not going to use any particular whole piece just to kind of demonstrate how every layer goes on. So what I'm going to do is I will be doing a video of probably after I've cut out the pieces, sewing them on, just so you kind of get an idea uh, as to how it was just attached to the block, essentially. And uh, you can actually see in some of the pictures that I'm showing how uh, with the extant pieces, uh, you can actually see how they're sort of pieced together um, because those parts weren't really shown. Like I said, it wasn't until the outer layers that were more important where you can actually see uh, you, you want to have that as clean looking as possible. So uh, I'll leave it at that and we'll get to the next stage.